Hey everyone, it's Johnny. Today we're just going to be making a beautiful sun catcher. So I'm just using this unwrapped canvas to hold my window film flat. The window film is going to give us some wonderful rainbow patterns. A little bit of scotch tape around the edges just to make sure it's all secure and held flat. And then we're ready to get the template. So this is one of my newest templates. It's a simple outline of a heart with some circles inside it. And I'm just going to stick it down using this art coat resin from Stone Coat Countertops. I am pouring quite a lot here, but I do have several other things to stick down in a second. Don't want too much resin on the template, so as you can see when I pick it up there's a little bit too much there, so I do spend a bit of time popping the bubbles and getting rid of a little bit of it before it's ready to stick down. I have to remember as well that whenever you stick the template onto the window film that the side that you stick down is going to be the side that's on the front. So stick the shiny side down in other words. Then leave it to cure overnight. Next day I've already coloured some more resin with resin dye. These are beautiful transparent colours that I use a lot so you can see through these. Primary colours effectively haven't mixed anything special here. I just want them some really bright little jewels to, to shine through when this is stuck onto the window later on. And it's hard to know how much of each colour to mix up so I basically just start with the big circles and then when I'm getting low on the colour I start to fill those smaller circles afterwards. I try and evenly distribute them. I don't really want too many of the same colour next to each other. Um, no. And this part is really simple and it's quite fun. It's really quite meditative and relaxing to do. Don't forget to check the description if you're interested in buying any of these templates or any of the other products that we use in the creation of our videos. There are lots of Amazon links there and a link to our store where the templates can be found. Once the final colour is in place, we're going to give it a bit of a torch. You have to be careful with the torch in this case because we don't want to melt the window film or to cause it to catch on fire or anything. So I will come back and do this again in about 30 minutes because there's always some little bubbles that tend to rise to the surface after a while. Um, but once it's all been torched, we're ready to leave it to cure overnight. So the next day I'm going to put on a top coat of transparent resin. I'm going to put that into all of the little gaps in between the circles and so on. The best way to spread this around, of course, as always, is with your fingertips. Gloved fingertips, that is. This is just going to give us a little bit of extra strength and support and make sure that we're not losing any of that beautiful window film texture. Again, leave this to cure after a quick torch overnight. Okay, next day it looks pretty good. Let's get the tape off and see what we've got. So simple but so effective, this method looks pretty good from the back. Okay, so let's try and get the window film off. Sometimes this can be a bit challenging, but hopefully today it's nice and straightforward. And there you go, it just peels straight off. So in this case, we can reuse that window film for another time. So I'll just set it aside and keep it for later. There are some straggly little bits that are sticking out from the edge of the heart. So I'm just gonna trim those off in a second with a pair of scissors. Okay, so what I found on Amazon to stick these to a window is some little round nano stickers. These are perfectly transparent. So obviously we want to stick it onto, not the textured side, onto the smooth side. So we're just going to take one of those stickers, peel it off the backing paper and stick it onto, I think probably that blue dot in the center. Yeah, I think that one's best. Press it down well. And then we're ready to peel off the cover and find a window to stick it to. Looks beautiful. It hasn't been the best day for catching rainbows today. The sun didn't come out until around lunchtime and by then it was too high in the sky. When the sun does hit it though, it looks amazing. Lots of rainbows. And when it doesn't, it looks like some sort of huge heart-shaped balloon in the sky over the houses. 
If you like this video, you should probably watch this one next. It's even better. <laughs>